Hey Brad, uh, Wisconsin, thanks for your order. This one's for you. This is your uh, NM532. This is P6. Plug and play with these radios. Um, sounds really good. It's a good upgrade over the factory mic. Um, I like these a lot. Got it set up for you in the mic type for dynamic. That's the setting that you should use with this mic. If you're going to go back to the standard mic, try that out for a while. The EL is for that one, or ELC, whatever it says in there, Electrat. Um, the Roger Beep is here. The last one, number six. Let me put this in. I think it's a USB over there. Let me go to the right channel. It's on 21. Here it is. I think the guys that are really passionate about radio can already tell me what radio used to make that beep. But that's the one you asked about, and that's the one that you have. So I do put that in the radios that give me the option to do it. Um, the Washington doesn't, so I can't put it in that one. It would have been really cool to have that one in a in a modern president radio. The only one that I can put it in is the Lincoln 2, which I believe is discontinued now, if I'm not mistaken. So well, I still have one brand new, which I'll probably keep because uh, it is what it is, you know, in 20 years or something, even though some guys may not like it as much as they used to, I still like it. Um, and I think it talks pretty good and, and everything. So it'll be a fun one when I'm older one day to still say, hey, I got one of those new in the box or something. It'll be a conversation piece or something like that, you know. Um, a lot of people probably wouldn't even remember it, but I would. You know, and obviously looking at it right in front of me. So um, what was I going to say? can't remember now. I covered the Roger beeps. So I think we're good there. Oh, I need to show you the box. Okay, now it just I just remembered. So somebody commented. Whoops. Somebody commented. Here's the box. And they said that there's not a lot of radio operators in, in a Wisconsin. And I wouldn't know because I don't live there. But I do know for a fact that I have quite a few customers in Wisconsin that I've sold radios to. So I would say that there's a fair good fair share of radio operators in Wisconsin. Um, there's also a good guy on uh, 2 Meter that I've talked to. He goes in on Echolink. Uh, KA9SXH. And I think he's over by uh, Milwaukee or something. And he comes into a repeater in Michigan through Echolink and I've talked to him quite so many years. I don't talk to him very often anymore, but the funny thing was I got on that repeater from my uh, setup here through my my antenna up on the tower and I was able to copy him through the echo link into that repeater, which that repeater for me is about 45 minute drive to the northwest in the town I grew up in. So that was kind of cool. I was able to talk to him sitting here. I mean, I could have very well just got an echo link and got in there myself, but to, to do it on radio is more fun for me. So it was good to hear him still out there doing his thing, even on two meter. So yeah, all I can say is there's a fair share of operators in Wisconsin, as far as I know, and that's a good thing. So don't get to hear Wisconsin really too much in Michigan though on, on the radio. Unless I'm on like one of the lower lower bands or something, then obviously they come in due to the the uh, what is it the NVIS or something. Here's the upper side band uh, with the one K test tone, so that's perfect. Lower would be the same. It would just flip flop to two one four. Um, Usually our upper HF band, CB included, you don't get those close-up states. I don't get uh, Ohio or Indiana ever. Here's that AM frequency. Or typically the upper peninsula of Michigan. I don't get them either because that's far enough away from me. That could be considered like another state. Even though we're in the same state. But it's just too close, but yet too far kind of thing. It's like that 
the skip bounces way over all that stuff. Same thing with Ohio and Indiana. Uh, the only guy I've ever talked to in Ohio on the radio was a guy by the, I think he was by the West, this West Virginia, and I, and I could easily look at a map, but I'm just thinking out loud here. I think he was by the West Virginia Ohio border, which I guess they maybe they do border up at a, at a certain point uh, in the southeastern part of Ohio. Um, you know, we got one guy there. Never ever had anybody in in Indiana. The only time I've gotten Illinois was people that were closer to the Missouri border. So very odd to ever get uh, anybody anybody in like Indiana. Never. Uh, Ohio, I'm sorry, not Ohio, Ontario, Canada, I've gotten the dirty old dog before over by the shores of Lake Erie on sideband. That's the only time I've gotten anybody in Ontario other than when I'm down by my work and Windsor, Ontario is right across the Detroit River and I don't really count that as skip because that's more local. But um, enough about that, me blobbing on about radio. Um, Here's the performance of the radio, so just a real quick overview of the performance. So about 80 watts on AM, and then sideband, hello check 1, 2, hello check 1, 2, about 80 to 90. Sometimes you might see a, depending every once in a while on this meter, it might, it might flash up to 100, but um, not always, you know. Usually it's 80 to 90, just like it's doing. The mic is set to about there. I, mean, I could turn it up a little bit, but it doesn't make a huge difference by turning it up, you know. You can just speak a little bit farther back from it is all. You don't you don't have to eat this mic or anything, you know. It has a good pickup of sound and it doesn't pick up a lot of background either, which is really nice. Um So yeah, that's that's about it. Um not really too much else to cover on these, but um Hope you enjoy it, Brad, and uh, we'll get it ready to ship out to you for Wednesday. So thanks a lot, and uh, keep uh, talking over there in Wisconsin so that guys say that there are operators in Wisconsin, because I know there are. Like I say, I've sold to quite a few guys over there, and um, some re a lot of repeat business too. So definitely there's some guys in Wisconsin. Um, oh yeah, one, one other thing. The only other area I've talked to that's relatively close to Michigan would be like Minnesota. There's quite a few guys I've I've gotten in this last couple of years with the solar cycle peaking up in Minnesota. But uh, never anybody in Wisconsin either. It's just too close, I guess. I kind of bounce over the top of them over to Minnesota. But a lot of guys over by St. Paul, Minnesota and Minneapolis and stuff like that. So a lot of cool guys there. Um... Also, some really good guys I've talked to in the northern part of Canada, like uh, north of Minnesota and, and over in like Manitoba and stuff like that. Real cool when those guys start coming in. But I haven't heard too many from over that way in quite some time. So, you know, it's uh, it's kind of rare for that. But when it happens, it's, it's a lot of fun. And it, it's almost like I'd rather talk to those places I don't get to talk to very much than you know, talk to like the South because we always get the South or we always get the West Coast when conditions allow it. But there's just certain areas that, you know, you guys are probably the same way that talk on the radio and like to do skip and stuff that you probably get like these states sometimes that, or parts of Canada or wherever you're at in the world that are kind of rare. And when you get them, it's a special occasion. So same thing with me for like Australia. I've gotten Australia a couple of times uh, in the last couple of years. And that never happens, you know, because number one, I'm never up when Australia is coming in. Well, lately, um, I, I guess they haven't been coming in. But then again, I'm not out there that much, so I miss out on a lot. Um, you know, usually the what guys on the West Coast, I think, get Australia on a regular basis. But uh, over this way, not not too often. So anyhow, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna quit blobbing on here, and uh, we'll catch everybody later. And I hope you enjoy the radio and your new mic. We'll get it all sent off to you tomorrow. 73.